بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأصلي وأسلم على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد The Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام was a human being and as every human being he married because this inclination to the opposite gender is a human nature and Allah Azza wa Jal does not order us to curb this inclination by refraining from it rather Allah channels it to us through halal means which is marriage so when the Prophet Sallallahu was a young man as we mentioned earlier he had to make ends meet so he had to work and one of his jobs was to trade and he was hired by Khadija bint Khuwailid may Allah be pleased with her who was a prominent businesswoman at the time and she sent him with her slave Maisara to Syria to buy goods and come. When they came back, she found a great deal of barakah and profit in her wealth through this merchandise they bought back. And when Maisara spoke to her, about this youngster, this young man, who was 25 years of age, when he spoke to, to her about his honesty, his truthfulness, his bashfulness, his strength as a man, and how he dealt with others in a way that he had never experienced with any other person. And of course, you may know people through social media, through video clips, and you judge them through what you see. If you did not travel with them, if you did not live with them, if you did not deal with them with money, you cannot truly judge their true identity. What you see of us is only this. You don't know who we are until you go and check with our families, with our spouses, with our children, with our uh, subordinates, with our superiors, with our neighbors. Then you can judge. This is exact, exactly what Maisara did. He traveled with the Prophet for a couple of months. He knew him inside out. He could not keep this information for himself, so he gave it to Khadija, who was quite impressed. And her companion and friend, Nafisa bint Munabbih, heard this from her thoughts and expressions and knew that she had a liking to the Prophet So she suggested, why don't you marry someone like him. Would you fancy that? Now, having said that, Khadija, may Allah be pleased with her, was a beautiful, rich, and from an honorable family that everyone wanted to get married to. She was highly sought after, but she would turn down dignitaries of Quraysh, the best of people in terms of lineage and wealth because she didn't like any of them. With Prophet Muhammad it was a different story. So Nafisa spoke and proposed to Prophet Muhammad and asked him if he would fancy marrying Khadija and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam agreed to such a proposal. And so 
his uncle went and spoke to her guardian and the marriage took place and the Prophet Sallallahu married for the first time to Khadija. May Allah be pleased with her. The majority say that she was 40 years of age and he was 25. Some say that she was 28. Nevertheless, it doesn't make a big difference. She was older than the Prophet Sallallahu And she was a blessed woman. She was the first woman that the Prophet Sallallahu married. And he loved her so much. And she loved him back. That he never married a second woman in her life. So she lived with, with him as his only wife. And the Prophet told us, alayhi salam, that only four women were perfect among all women folk. One of them was Khadija. She's the mistress of the women of paradise. She's the highest level of them all. And she was so blessed that all the Prophet's offspring were from her, with the exception of Ibrahim. Ibrahim was from Maria the Coptic, who was a concubine of the Prophet ﷺ and not one of his wives. But the rest were all from the Prophet ﷺ. And who were the children of the Prophet Sallallahu They were Al-Qasim, whom he was nicknamed by. So everyone knew him as Abu Al-Qasim. And this is why the Prophet prohibited Alayhi Salatu in his lifetime for anyone to be called Abu Al-Qasim. That's his name. And she also gave him Abdullah, who was nicknamed as At-Tahir. And both died as infants, as young boys. And she gave him four daughters. Zainab, who was married to her cousin, Abu al-As ibn al-Rabi'ah. And then there was Umm Kalthum, and Ruqayyah, who both were married to Uthman ibn Affan, may Allah be pleased with him. And when Umm Kalthum died, he married Ruqayyah. And then there was Fatima, who was married to his own cousin, Ali ibn Abi Talib. So these are the six that the Prophet was blessed by, alayhi salatu wasalam, from his wife, Khadija. Ibrahim was born from Maria and he also died when he was two years of age. All of the Prophet's children died in his lifetime. So six of his own children died in his lifetime. And you can just think of the toll on the Prophet's heart وسلم, to see calamity after calamity, being patient and content with Allah's decree and not saying anything that would anger or displease Allah. Fatima, may Allah be pleased with her, died after the Prophet ﷺ by six months. So who did the Prophet ﷺ marry after Khadija? The Prophet ﷺ married 10 women after Khadija. After the death of Khadija, he married two. Sauda bint Zam'a, may Allah be pleased with her, and Aisha. Sauda was approximately the Prophet's age, which was 50 plus at the time when he married her. And Aisha was a young child, 
So he just had the marriage contract without consummating the marriage. And this was by the instruction of Allah.